What's up fish tank people, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you with my 100th video in a row. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. What's up fish tank people, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you with my 100th video in a row in 2018. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Today's video has nothing to do with fish tanks and everything to do with fish tanks. That's right, folks. I believe there is a higher power of some sort. I like to call it the fish tank gods. In today's video, I'm gonna break down my top five of my fish tank guides signaling me in the right direction. Yeah, I believe there's a higher power that kind of gives us little clues that we're heading in the right direction. First things first before I get into that, at the end of this video, there is a big omen from the fish tank guides that I received earlier last week on Friday that I do want to share about with you simultaneously while I was doing something with fish tank stuff. But first, I'm a big believer in goals. One of the goals I set out for in 2018 was to do 100 videos in a row just to see if I could do it. I got Andrew behind the editing doing a bunch of great jobs. I wanted to see, can I do 100 videos in a row? The great late Earl Nightingale said this thousands of times many times in the strangest if you guys should click links around here to listen that get yourself motivated but he said success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal if you're working towards something that is a predetermined goal you are a success he also said that people with goals succeed because they know where they're going so if you know where you're going you're going to have a heck of a lot better life so let's get into my top five fish tank god moments but with all the goal stuff aside folks this story like most good stories starts in the jungle yes folks we're going back to the jungle but before we go back to the jungle we got to go back about 23 years when i was 14 years old hanging out at my buddy jolly's house reading the old tropical fish hobbyist magazines where i first read about pink amazon river dolphins and decided those are something that i need to see in my life Fast forward the tape to around August of 2012. Your boy Dustin is on a trip with our friends at Margarita Tours. You can click the links around here and check out all kinds of videos I got from the jungle, but this one is a special one, folks. For you see, I'm on the back of the boat on the Nanai River. It is day four of a five-day excursion out in the jungle, okay? And honestly, I'll be real with you, somebody said something to the effect of my house could be on fire and I wouldn't know. We're off the grid, there's no phones, there's no cell phones, there's nothing. And I kind of freaked out. I was like, oh man, I got a wife, two young kids at home, like a little nervous about what was going down. And what happens while I'm nervous and while I'm tripping? <sighs> I'm walking around, they're doing a seining net like they always do, so they're seining in all of the fish. And I hear one of the guys, I think it was Segundo, say, Buffeo. Buffeo is what they call the pink Amazon river dolphins. Forget the fish at this point, folks, right? Like, I've, I've seen enough fish. We're collecting peacock bass, severums. You can click links around here and check out videos of all that stuff being netted. It's all about Dustin seeing the pink dolphins. So what do I do? I stop what I'm doing, and I see the Buffeo are over in this basin. I slowly roll over there, and like they can speak English, I'm going, dolphins, 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 and I'm standing in water probably about the waist deep, okay? I'm in dolphin territory, and the dolphins are coming in front of me, and they're coming here. Keep in mind, about 45 minutes earlier, I'm tripping out that something's happening to my wife and kids. All of a sudden, one of these dolphins goes and breaches right in front of, I'm talking like right in front of my face, like from here to that pole right there, okay? Like that's how, that's how far the dolphin came up, swam away from me. In other words, he came around behind me, next to me, and came up. Um, you can see the clip here. I, I say a, a lot of four-letter words. I was actually super nervous, but I, I'm just going to say it, folks. It changed me. Like, fish tank god shining down on Dusty. Dusty's been thinking about pink dolphins since he was 14 years old, and bam! Mother Nature delivers a pink dolphin swimming right up next to me, pretty much setting the tempo. And ultimately changing a little bit of my life. The first time I had a pink Amazon River Dolphin encounter, my number five, my fish tank guide moments. Holy 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 Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Holy Holy I got that. Oh my god. What's up, man? 
Don't hurt me, I won't try to hurt you. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boys. Yeah, we're friends, dolphins. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Holy cow. Very close. Very close. My number four. My fish tank god moments. Rewind the tape back to about 2007, the pre-YouTube, pre-kids era. I roll into Just Fish, the long defunct pet store here in Lexington. My man Parker's like, hey man, kind of sounds like Dave Chappelle a bit, hey man, I got something in the back I want to show you. I'm thinking he's like got a new angel fish, new rainbow fish, some sort of new fish. We go past all the aquariums. We go out the back door. We go out the back door into the back door of the warehouse. We go into the warehouse and sitting there on the ground is a 30 inch tall, six foot long, I guess, what is it, 30 inches wide, 220 gallon aquarium. I take about two seconds and I ask him, hey man, how much is it? He goes, for you, 500 bucks. I immediately handed him my credit card and said, here you go, dude. Getting the 220. Note on that, click the links around it. You can check out the two years I actually sat and stared at that thing in my garage while we redid our basement getting ready for numero uno child. But yeah, my 220 gallon aquarium for only 500 bucks. My number four, my top five fish tank god moments. And my number three <coughs> fish tank god moment happened by a total stranger in a random spot. You ever have these happen to you? So I'm up at the Nandino post office here in Lexington. This is back when I was selling phones, suit and tie wrap that was cleaner than a bar of soap. I went from selling quarter million dollar phones to $49 beginner planet combo packages. But I'm at the post office. I got like 14, 15 boxes. This is back in the aquatic jungles days, right? Before we even had the Dustin's Fish Tanks logo. But I've got all these boxes spread out. I noticed this old dude is looking at me and he's looking at me like, I don't know, he's looking at me more than everybody else looking at me in there. Like he's really checking out what I'm doing. And I got all the boxes, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, you know, putting stuff in them or whatever. And he goes, Sonny, God bless you and your business. Turns and walks out. And it was just a little signal like that that I needed, because I was thinking about quitting my job. And just some random person comes up, says, God bless you and your business. And he walked out. My number two fish tank God moment. Kind of segues into number one, and it's real simple. It's this past November, I'm at the Aquatic Experience up in Schaumburg, Illinois, and I wish they weren't moving that show, but that's another story. I'm there, and one day, three simultaneous fish tank things happen. Thing one, I actually was out of the bubble, hanging out with real people in real life, actually looking at a human instead of a camera lens. Thing two, which I can't believe is number two, I got my hands on my first 350 gallon aquarium from our friends at Custom Aquarium and loaded it into the back of my wife's minivan. And the number one thing that happened, I got a text that day from my banker saying that the financing was approved on Greenhouse Numero Uno. Three things, one day. Fish tank people live, 350 gallon aquarium, financing for a new greenhouse. Fish tank god to tell him something. And my number one fish tank god moment happens to have a two part moment. I'm standing in the hallway of Home Depot with a bunch of pipes building, I didn't even know it was as, as I hit the camera, building this dude's <laughs> system in the greenhouse that you can see the clips around for accidentally for his birthday because I didn't know yesterday was his birthday. And I get a phone call while I'm holding PVC pipes from my banker telling me, we are set to close on the new property next freaking week, folks. Fish tank gods. You get PVC pipes in your hand and get calls from your bankers that you're gonna close on a property you've been waiting on for a year or more. I love you. Do me a favor, folks. Drop me a comment on your biggest fish tank god moment. Something happened at a key moment in your life. I've had people say fish tanks got them out of PTSD or horrible experiences. Or just relax your ass after a hard, stressful event. Drop me a comment, folks. I love you. Talk to you soon. And tank on. Later.